Okay, everybody, welcome. And uh, I am Abel Rodriguez, the event coordinator for uh, the event that's coming up here in February. Really happy, uh, just a little bit of background with me. I have worked uh, plenty of major fights for a long time, a long time ago with the likes of uh, everybody that's ever put anything together, uh, especially Lester, everyone knows who Lester is. I worked a little bit with him. Worked on the De La Hoya fight uh, at the Sun Bowl, also the Relis and all those guys that were at the Coliseum fighting. Uh, Costa Zoo fight, Sugar Shane Mosley. So I, I got a little bit of boxing background in me. Plus I was in the ring for one round as an amateur and I walked out at it. He hit me hard and I told, I told uh, my manager at the time, Rocky Galarza, bringing back a name. I told him, uh, you know what, uh, I'm leaving. <laughs> so I left after the first round so I got one round on me. So anyway, thank you and welcome to all the press for coming here uh, on this uh, momentous occasion. Things. Um, at this time, I would like to go ahead and start this press conference by introducing uh, the promoter of the fight, well-known to El Paso, uh, Tony Aguilar. Hi, Newton, hi, Newton. Uh, my name is Tony Aguilar uh, with Golden Hill Promotions, and we're happy to be having this show with El Paso sweetheart, Jennifer Hong, our champion, IBF, uh, by the way, champion. And uh, this, this fight in February will be a non-title fight, at, you know, over the over the weight. weight. Uh, I spoke to the IBF, uh, uh, Carlos Ortiz, from the IBF, the championship committee, and uh, he's, uh, you know, we're doing this fight now, right? that way, you know, so she transitions from being a, you know, a mother. So, you know, and then uh, the next fight will be for, for the uh, to defend her title. Or, and also, we're also looking to go up in weight so she can be a multi division, division champion. You know, we want to go hopefully the WC, WBC, you know, so we want her to be a, a multi division champion. So, we might get for her speak. Thank you, Tony, for believing in me and for throwing this fight. I, I can't do it without you. I appreciate you. I appreciate it. I appreciate everybody else for coming out and supporting me. You know, I'm a pasta sweetheart. I've missed being in the ring. It's been almost two years, and I'm looking to build my legacy. It's not just a return for me. It's to build a future for me and my family. I'm very proud to represent El Paso. I want to stay the champion, but also collect more titles. My, my goal is to be the best champion ever, and I will be with your guys' support. So please come out, save the date, February, 4, February 15th, the El Paso County Coliseum, and I'm not gonna let you down. Any questions? What's it like stepping back in the ring? 
Oh, I'm so excited. I'm anxious, I'm excited, I'm nervous. It's been, like I said, almost two years, um, but I feel good. I mean, Louis's been working hard with me. We're gonna be pushing it. My sparring partner, Brandon, Sav, they're, they've been pushing me to get to where I need to be, the elite championship level. And to be honest, I, I feel that becoming a mother has made me even stronger, not just physically, but mentally as well. If you're a mom, I give props to all mothers because what we have to go through, men, you don't know. You don't know. It's, it's a real deal. The next fight you're going to go into is going to be a preparation for a, another championship fight for the next level? Absolutely. So I have permission from the IBF. I'm supposed to be defending my title after nine months of giving birth. Um, however, the IBF interim champion is going to be fight, fighting February 1st. So my fight's February 15th. So they're gonna allow me to fight a non-title fight. And then from there, we'll see. It's up to my team and I whether I'm gonna defend my title or I'm gonna go for bigger and better. What do you wanna do? I want everything. I want everything. <laughs> I wanna fight for WBC, the IBF, WBA, WBO. And if I'm given the opportunity, I'm gonna shine. Have you always fought with guys? Or spar with guys, excuse me? All the time. That's who my sparring partners are. That's who makes me the best. You know, if. If I have the luxury of sparring a female, it's great, but we're limited, we're few in numbers. The guys, they're the ones that push me the hardest. You know, I know if I can handle them, I can handle anyone. Uh, Louis, did it, how, how about a, I talked to you last time at uh, Vado, a fight with uh, Bonita uh, este, Fernandez. I don't know if they're the same way, but they're similar. Yeah. I, don't I think she's a little bit lighter. Yeah. I think she's at 122. If I'm, not, uh, if I'm correct, and then uh, and Jennifer, you know, she's at 26, but I would personally like to see her go up and, and become a multi-division champion. I'd like to see her start going at the 130, 135, and start adding more belts to her, her resume. But, yeah, I, I know I got a few more pounds to go before I can get 22, but I'm working on it, I'm working on it. Have you looked at the fighters in those weight classes you plan on going to? Do I know the fighters in my division? Right, do a little research on them, kind of. Know. I always do my homework. Um, right now, I know Katie Taylor was the 135-pound champion, and she's vacated her title because she's planning on moving up to do some more super fights and collecting more titles. Um, so because she vacated her titles, they're open. So that's a huge opportunity, and I hope those organizations will look at me in the rankings and give me that opportunity. I'm working on it. Anything else? What's been the hardest adjustment for you coming back? Wow. Okay, so, I mean, before I became a mother, it was already difficult. I had to, I had a full-time job, I train, I teach class, and to become an elite champion, you have to dedicate, you live, breathe, and something else boxing. So it was hard. But now becoming a mother, I have even more juggling to do. I have to take care of my son, he's my party. Um, especially with the, with the breastfeeding, you know, everyone's like, oh, you lose the weight fast. I don't know about that, but um, it's been hard. So I take care of my son. Excuse me. Nope. Actually, that's the alarm to get ready for work. Sorry. Um, I take care of my son. I still teach classes at my dad's school, Hans Ridge Martial Arts in the Northeast of El Paso. I love teaching class. I love what I do. I love giving back to the community and giving back to my students. Then I train. I train in the morning with Louis. We just trained this morning. I came back, ate, ate lunch, took a shower, tried to clean up as best I could, and I'm here. And then I'm gonna go back to work, and then I'm gonna train again. I mean, it's, it's a juggling act, but it's worth it. And I have no regrets. I mean, my son has been the biggest blessing in my life. He's been an, a huge inspiration for me because you get burned out sometimes, and he's pushing me forward and I want to be the best example for my son. I want him to be proud of his mother. I want him to know that if you set goals and knock them down and you work hard for him, anything's possible.